and start talking. You can see him. I couldn't hear shit. I just saw him doing this. She was like, uh huh. He looked around, pulled out his pistol, and hit him with the butt of the pistol on his forehead. He fell on the ground. Boom! He just lung thud. I was like, oh shit! Ran over there and he beating his face in with his fucking gun. <laughs> and I had to like run back and then we attack with shit to get him up off the motherfucker because he was on his knees, just, just pounding, pounding, pounding his face with his gun. I was like, oh shit! Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So let me ask you this, and that was just the first time. Cause we and see, I, I see, see Shug will flip out. What, what, give me another instance on old Shug. I like listening to them old Shug stories anyway. Cause Shug, hey man, listen man, I don't know man, his whole movement is just, it's, it's crazy, but everybody knows. I was at this hotel mm -hmm. when Shug walks in. I was at, in the casino. When the kings own this, you remember when they own this, mm -hmm. and everybody start whispering. Like they, oh, they everybody start whispering. I believe it was me. Jay Prince was there that day. It, it was a, yeah, everybody. It was everybody was there. It was it was a time. This was in like probably two thousand and nine or ten, two thousand ten. Mm -hmm. This was before he had done beat the lady up on the strip. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was just right before that. Okay. And we all was we was all in that casino down there. Everybody used to come to the palm during this time. It was a kid down there named Jay. They used to run around meddling and messing with everything. They knew the owners of the. I was here, mm -hmm. right here, where I always come here. And so basically, you could tell. Even this was after death row. This was that was over with. Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. But they still had that respect, and they still had that. Mm -hmm. We don't know what he might do. Yep. So you been in those situations when that 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 Suge was around too. That Suge was around, but I I I had um like Suge, uh, Dick Griffey, Wes Crockett. They they were schooling Suge, right? But they were like, if something jumped off the muscle, they are gonna call Suge. Suge come over there and put hands on somebody, right? But he he like I said, he was just he would he would it's like a light switch. He could be laughing, ha 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 ha, and then boom, what? Like a pit bull, oh, and it's done. Oh, what was the second? Boom. What was the second play? Yeah, well, give me that second story. I got a bunch of stories, but yeah, let's go. One, one story. He was, I think, it was Rainbow Records. It's a di distribution company. So we, we was in Beverly Hills. We had just came from Archie Bunker, the actor. Was it just you and Shug at this point? Me, from? Shug, and, and DOC again, or no? No, no, some other, some other kid, right? And so we went downstairs. Cause like Shug's my age, you know what I'm saying? He's just a big nigga, but he's my age, so. We, we went out said to this, this Archie Bunker had a restaurant and they races in there. And so they were looking at us like, get up out of there. And she just start ordering more shit like, fuck y'all, we're gonna stay here a little longer. Hey, give us more shit. And we would just, so he was just kind of like clowning and, and it seemed like in a good mood. And then we went upstairs. And so, uh, I can't remember the exact story, but I think uh, um, somebody asked Shug who promotes a club, you yeah. know, a DJ. So Suge referred to DJ, and um, and then the DJ I guess did the club but didn't get paid, and the DJ had some manager that thought he was hard, you know what I'm saying? So the next day he's like, "Yo, your boy ain't paid paid my DJ. What's up?" And he's like, "Suge said, hey man, I just referred to shit. Like I ain't got nothing to do with it. Dude, and nah, you referred him. You got some, you got all to do with it. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have to break him off." Suge was like, "I ain't breaking that nigga off. He didn't get paid. Y'all didn't have y'all business. That's y'all business." Uh, he's like, right, nigga? Where you at? I'll come up there right now. Shit, like, nigga, I'm at the woo, 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 woo. Bring your ass up here. And I'm like, wow, this nigga don't know who he's talking to. You know what I'm saying? So we sitting there in the sugar office laughing, playing music, whatever. And then it's like, you get out the elevator. You come through a glass door. You get the, that, that Rainbow Records office. It's a big, used office. It had a big reception area. Yeah. So I guess the dude came back, came there, and she's like, oh, that's, that's that nigga right here. She got a pistol on. So... I'm sitting like, oh shit, what the fuck's about to go down? And I saw the dude through the, through the door. He was like a chubby dude, so I was like, he ain't, he's not a threat to Suge, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But then he, then he got up, started talking, you see him, I couldn't hear shit, I just saw him doing this. Suge was like, uh-huh, he looked around, pulled out his pistol and hit him with the butt of the pistol on his forehead, he fell down the ground, boom! He just lung thud, I was like, oh shit, ran over there and he beating his face in with his fucking gun. And I had to like, Run back and yeah. then we attack with shit to get him up off the motherfucker because he was on his knees just, just pounding, pounding, pounding his face with his gun. I was like, oh shit. 
And it was just like, damn, I hate to be on the other side of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's crazy. So it's like you and Suge, y'all had a relationship where he knew you was you was home team. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I used to roll with him in his in his in his K five Bronco with the Kenwood pull out. You know, Suge Suge was uh like I said, he was super cool. He he love you, he love you. But yeah. if he nigga, if you get on that wrong side, it's a wrap. You cannot stop that, brother. He on once. So I was like, so when Death Row got cracking. I was like, ooh, I can holler at shit and get work, you know what I'm saying? But then I'm hearing this fool got beat up, and that fool got beat up, this fool got beat up. I was like, nigga, you ain't finna be beating on me. I said, no, and I was working with Cube anyway. I said, I'm straight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm cool, I'm cool. I'll stay over here and shit. Man, you, you mentioned that, the Gregory guy. Uh, what was his name? The one that was, actually, I heard he was a part owner of, of Death Row at first. Um... Was it? It was Gregory. It was him, Doc, and that guy you just mentioned. Because West Crockett, no, no. Uh, Dick, um, well, you uh, just mentioned him earlier. Right, right. The owner of Solar. I can't. Uh, Dick Griffey. Griffey. Dick that's Griffey. him. Remember, that's the one. He was mm-hmm. a part owner. I didn't even know that it was four ways. Him, Dre, uh, Suge, and that Griffey guy. It was. It was. I can't think of. And Doc. Yeah, DOC. <laughs> DOC, it, was, it showed yeah. DOC to be a part owner. But he too. said there might have been five, even five members. He mentioned there might have been five instead of four. Who, who's, I can't think of his, his name right now. The guy you who put up the it? money, who was in jail. To, he said there might have been one more. Yeah, there Harry was Harry O. Harry O. It was Harry O. Harry right, o. so Harry it might have been five. Cause wow, yeah. that's crazy. So they were working out of Solar Records, and, and Dick Griffey got a big ass studio. That's what they did the Chronic album yeah. and that shit. And I guess yeah. he was letting them use, Dick Griffey was letting them use the studio to record. Like I said, he was grooming Suge. They were giving him all kind of game and shit, you know, how to get in. But Suge, you know, people don't get the credit that he deserved, but Suge was getting shit done. Albums had deadlines. Oh, the money proved it. And, and he would go through all the bureaucracy because they wouldn't really play West Coast records on MTV and yeah. VH1 and stuff like that, right? Um, so we didn't know who Snoop was. Dre wasn't like a big rapper at the time, but you, you hear all the stuff, like right? Yeah. So he, somehow he was making it happen. And so I, I played uh, bass on New York, New York. Yeah. Dog Pound, right? We did that song. They We did that song, and maybe a week later, they shot the video. I knew when they shot the video, and then a week after that, it's on MTV. It takes a month. Make sure you got a radio a video done. You submit it. They got to like it and look through it and this, that, and that. It takes like a month. It was like a few days later after they sent it. It's wow. on, it on air. But this was the first one. This wasn't the New York where they kicking the building down. Yeah, that, that that's New York, New York. That's that video. That video. That video. They had it on that fan. They had, they, I mean, um, DJ Pooh did the beat. He also shot the video. So I'm knowing Pooh. You know what I'm saying? So he, they just got, we just got back from New York. They were shooting at him and everything. Like Biggie was on the radio. Like these West Coast niggas out here shooting a video in our, in our city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And somebody went and shot it. He telling me that whole story. And a few days later, that video was on, on what you call it? It's on, it's on What did you think when you seen the video? I, I thought the video was dope. I thought it kicked the building down. Like, like if anybody knows DJ Pooh, he's like George Jetson. He's always looking for the next. So that, that has special effects. They yeah, yeah. buildings and everything. That, nobody did that before, you know what I'm saying? I'm all ready to put work in. Take 10 steps and turn and shoot the first nigga smirking. Give a fuck, what's your name? DJ Pooh started the Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I didn't Rockstar. know that. Yeah, that's his. That's thing. hard. That's his. So you know he's papered up, man. Yeah, he papered up. So but, when when that building, when they when they dropped the, they kicking the building out, Snoop. Mm-hmm. I'm all ready to put work in. Take 10 steps and turn and shoot the first nigga smirking. Give a fuck, what's your name? Mm-hmm. A corrupt and yeah. Daz. We were just snooping corrupt. Was Daz on? Yeah, yeah they was Daz. all on there. They was on there acting up. Yep. Like, and, and, and this really, this was like throwing gas on the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, you mess with us. We don't play that. You keep talking crazy. We don't care. We gang bang. We gang bang. We love retaliation. That's what gang bang is all about. They hit me, I'm gonna hit them. They hit me. That's all gang bang is about. So we was gang banging. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.